Hi guys, I'm Alan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you could open up your registration line so you can print a bigger design. Okay, especially if you're using the 8.5 by 11 heat transfer paper. Every time you set up your registration line, you do not get the same size as usual. It pretty much take away from your sizes. So today, what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you how you could open up your registration line will make it bigger so you get a bigger design all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fast forward the trace process so i can get to the registration line how to open up for the print like to get a bigger design all right so i also have another video that i'm gonna upload very soon that i can show you guys the whole process how to trace how to print how to cut and how to press all right and i have plenty of videos on my youtube channel that show you guys the trace process so you can get familiar with it all right i just want to get to the trace process trying to keep this video as short as i can okay This is the main things that I wanted to show you guys. This is the whole print of the video. This is why I make the video to show you guys how to set up the registration line, how you could open up, make it bigger so you could get a bigger design here. So this is where you go here. So here, registration marks, click on it. Okay. And then on the style, you gotta go, now it's off, you gotta go on type one camera okay as you guys can see here so your registration line is already set so i already set mine okay so if you don't have to keep set you know go back to the to here to set up your registration line if you set up the first time you don't need to do it a second time as you guys can see here it's become small but when you go to your registration line for the first time if you don't set it up it's gonna end up on 625 okay so let's you when you come here you just say look style you open up your registration line here and everything come here you got to go down to advanced option down here you click on advanced option here okay so as you guys can see here everything is on 625 625 here even the left here the first one if you don't set it up down here you would it would be on let me show you how it's gonna be it's gonna be on 625 okay but the smaller the number is on the left, the first one here, the smaller 
the bigger your registration line gonna become so that's where you go to open up your registration line on top here okay so it's on 625 the lower you could go the lower you go the bigger your registration line gonna be so what you need to do you gotta go down to 375 so don't go on 250 okay i haven't to be honest i haven't go on 250 but if you go on 250 your printer might not recognize your registration line when you're ready to print okay so i'm gonna try the 250 but i haven't been on 250 yet so i stays on 375 here so now as you guys can see here you see how big your registration line is now so when you're done down here you gotta leave the thickness gonna be the same inset just gonna be the same here i leave that just the same way it is but you could try to play with it okay the three uh, uh, uh 94 but now nah, i haven't been on so i'm leaving it on 625 because when you open up the inset everything down here you see how everything in here come to 394 so you don't want to do everything on 394 so you leave the end set on 625 and then when you're done that's when you come down here you're gonna leave the left end set the same way don't touch that one here so you got to go down here to 394 394 and 394 okay as you guys can see now i'm available i could Go ahead to open up my design just the way I want it. So as you guys can see here, you see how big your registration line is become here. So when you open up your design, don't let your design go up past that marks here, the black marks and the black sign. Do not let your design go here. It could go, but you got to close that gap here just to not to reach down here that mark here do not go past that line here okay so what you need to do here you could go down here okay so as you guys can see here there's two line there's one there's two you see where's the 8.8 and 9 that could be outside the red line just to open up just to get a little bit of size open up here this this line can be outside with no problem but if you go past that black marks in the black line here when you're ready to print and cut your design will not cut the right way okay don't let your design go past here it could go past it but you got to close the gap here so if i wanted to go up down here as you guys could the line here is not outside here the line here did not reach outside the black marks here. So I could just leave it up just the way it is right now because that line do not pass the black marks on top here. So I'm just gonna leave it up here. You know, as you guys can see here, the line is not reach outside from here and the line did not reach outside from there. So just a little open up more here, okay? So, just to make sure everything is on. That's it. So, this is how you set up your registration line to get a bigger design. Let's say if I didn't open up my length here, let me show you what was going to happen if I go back to 625. If I go back to 625, you see how it is? So, my design will not get that much space. I will have to go ahead and doing it like that here how it is now so since i open up to 390 375 and i could go ahead and open up my design you see how many space you have you got a lot of space just to open up your design so you could get a bigger design so this is how you guys doing it all right like i show you on top this is where everything set it up this is how where you had to go to set up all your or your registration line here so i think that's the main things you got especially if you're not printing like the 11 by 17 8.5 is what pretty much everybody been using because not every printer come with those bigger size so 
that's what I wanted to show you guys. And then now I'm just going to try to, now I'm ready to print and I'm ready to cut. So I'm just going to take you guys to the cut process. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set up my printer and I'm going to print the design and then take it to my cutting machine and then cut it so you could see how big the design is by using the 8.5 by 11, the letter heat transfer paper. Okay, so let me go ahead and take you guys to the printer so I could print that design and see how big it is. All right, so let's go to the printer. All right, guys, so now I'm in the printer. This is my Epson Workforce 7720, and I'm also using the Epson um, Workforce 7710. I'm using those two printers, okay, dye sublimation and pigment ink. So this is my dye sublimation printer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load my heat transfer paper, which is the JPSS Pro for white. And just print. see everything just come out good so you guys can see the color that's in the computer doesn't look the same as the color that I print out but this is dye sublimation you get the bright color after you press it okay so um this is it so now i'm gonna load it on my cutting mat and load it on my cutting machine so i could cut it and you guys can see my registration line on top okay so let's go load it up all right, there you go. This is my cutting mat, and I'm gonna load my design here. Okay. There you go. All right. This is it, there you go. So let's go in the cutting machine to cut it up, all right? So now we're done cutting. Just waiting. Okay, unload. There you go. What you need to do, just peel. That's it. There you go. So now just I'm ready to press because everything is already cut. So all you gotta do is just try and peel. Try not to go in your design. All right, so as you guys can see here, I'm gonna press, as you guys can see here, this is a way bigger design compared to 625 by three, 
you know okay so this is it so this is how you set up your registration line to get a bigger design all right so like i told you guys that i would trying to keep the video short so um i have another video that will show you guys the whole process how to print cut trace press and everything so that's what i wanted to show you guys just to show you how to open up your registration line to print a way bigger design so this is it thank you thanks for watching make sure you subscribe for more videos all right